Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Abdul Karim uh, from Center for Development of Academic Excellence, University of Science Malaysia. In this presentation, I would like to talk about um, this topic, engaging minds uh, in the classroom. So as a teacher or as an educator, we always um, face with a challenge, how do we engage the students in our classroom? So a lot of research has been done on this area. But the conclusion from all this research, it boils down to motivation. So it is all about motivation. So as Eric Jensen uh, said, Eric Jensen is one of the uh, well-known uh, uh, educational psychologists in this area. He said there is no such thing as an unmotivated student. But there are, however, students in unmotivated states. So, so the challenge for all teachers and educators, whether in school or in higher education, is to engage and motivate students. So for example, if we teach a subject, any subject, uh, especially if we are teaching a dry subject like, like mathematics or physics, the challenge is how do we make the, this course exciting, interesting, engaging, fun, and at the end of the day, we want it to be effective. And uh, as you see on the uh, slide, here we have um, this um, Einstein. He said, it is the supreme art of the teacher to awaken joy in creative expression and knowledge. So I'm sure all teachers and educators, they want the students to achieve higher level of learning but they continue to use a form of teaching that is not effective at promoting such learning. And John Dewey, again, another famous educator, he said this, if we teach today's students as we thought yesterday, we rob them of tomorrow. I think that's a very strong word and something that we have to, that reminds us as a, as a teacher to, uh, to, to, to do something about this. And I would like to share this, uh, this one of my uh, favorite uh, educators, this Professor Walter Lewin in, uh, from MIT, and he's a physics professor. He has written a book called For the Love of Physics. And if you watch any of his video on YouTube, I would say these are the characteristics that really uh, uh, the, the attributes of a, and the hallmark of a great teacher, which is energetic, enthusiastic, inspiring, exciting, thought-provoking, provoking, and a course that is well designed and well delivered. So the topic about engaging minds in the classroom is all about engaging students in the process of learning in the classroom to make learning effective. So the key to engaging minds in the classroom is the role of teachers to creatively design meaningful and relevant learning activities that engage students to think, work together in group to accomplish certain tasks and get them to express their thought. So I would like to suggest that we don't want to be simply an ordinary teacher, what, but what we want to, uh, to embrace a new role, what I call as teacher as a learning designer. And teacher as a co-learner, meaning that the, you know, a teacher can learn together and can co-create knowledge together in, inside the classroom or outside the classroom. So for example, here is one of the activity uh, you know, from my classroom. So this actual, uh, actually group work done in the classroom, then I get each group to summarize using uh, a tool, a technology or a tool application called Padlet.com or Padlet, which is a web-based uh, free tools. So after they have done the um, activity in the classroom, they summarize all this, uh, all the, the learning outcome or the summary of the activity uh, on this Padlet. And this is another way how you get the students to engage in the learning process. After they have done the uh, classroom activity, another group choose this um, uh, tool called MindMister to summarize their activity. And yet another group from the same activity use another tool or another application, in this case a web-based, uh, sorry, this is actually an iPad application where they uh, present and summarize the uh, the workshop, uh, the, sorry, the, the classroom activity in this form. And this is actually a very interactive uh, multimedia uh, presentation which 
uh, combine the elements like video, text, document, and other uh, multimedia elements. So the bottom line is there is no magic to engaging students, but the effects of engaged students can be magical. So the message here is we want to design our classroom in such a way that we will empower our students, we will let them to construct their own knowledge, develop their skill to learn how to learn. So instead, what we want to do and what we want to achieve uh, when we design the classroom activity is we want to allow the students to construct their own knowledge rather than just to consume content. So the question is, how do we actively engage our students? So these are the things that the rest of this presentation I would like to share with you. The first one, from my own practical experience uh, after 21, 21 years teaching at the university, I think it's very, very important to energize everyone. So when we involve the whole of the learner to energize the body, the mind, and the spirit, learning can happen, learning can take place. The second way or the second approach to engage the student in, in, in the learning process or in the classroom is to necessitate participation. The more we allow students to do their own work, the more they will stay engaged. The third one is to get them to work in groups. Okay, and uh, in this case, you know, we, we will get the students to work cooperatively and, and in this way, it will support their learnings and create a community of learners. The fourth one, we have to uh, include assessment. So we assess every step in the activity that we conduct in the classroom. So assess meaning that we try to find out what students know uh, and it helps them to build confidence and help us to keep them in the center of the class. The fifth one is to generate connection. Connecting students to what they are doing and why encourages and uh, uh, encourage engagement. And we expect more. Always encourage our students to expect more from the classroom activity and from uh, working together. When, when, when we expect they can, students tend to surprise us themselves and their peers. The sixth approach to engage students in the classroom, this involves social and collaborative learning, and this can be a very powerful approach if we know, if we design the learning process in such a way that we'll get, we will get them to work together and collaborate together in a group. A new culture of learning needs to leverage social and technical infrastructures in new ways. So this is where the technology comes in, to enhance and to facilitate learning in a way that the students can use the devices, the mobile devices that they have, the smartphone, the, the tablet, and so on. So we, we know very well that the world is, of learning is increasingly collaborative, driving changes in the way students learn. And we have to leverage on the social media. Our students are always on the Facebook, on Twitter, uh, on using YouTube, watching YouTube, and so on. The challenge and the question is, how do we leverage this social networking to impact learning? We have social learning platform like Enmodo, Schoology, and we have also open learning platform. There are hundreds of these platforms out there, so we have to think about how to use this platform uh, to our advantage and to the, to, to the student's advantage. And the peer teaching approach that has been uh, uh, Eric, Professor Eric Mazo from uh, Harvard University has been one of the strong proponents of the peer teaching. What is peer teaching? Because we know very well from our practical experience, the best way to learn is to teach. So we should promote peer teaching to engage students in the process of discussion among themselves, and in that process it will allow them to construct their own learning and create their own meaning. And as uh, Albert Einstein said, you do not really understand something unless you can explain it to your grandmother. So that is the basic concept of peer teaching. Before they are able to teach their friends, they themselves have to learn and understand the concept very clearly. So again, 
Back to the technology, we have some application and tools for engagement. This is where the role of technology can offer potential for expanding the possibilities and allow them to express their creative expression, providing a playground for ideas and images. So ladies and gentlemen, I urge all educators, 21st century educators, to leverage technology. The role of technology is not, when we use technology, it must be in a way that enhances what we are doing. So these are, these are some of the tools of engagement, as you can see here. I have put it in the categories. So we have interactive and collaborative learning. We have personalized learning, video, infographics, data visualization, animation, content curation, ebook, gamification. So I will skip this video. So I'll just uh, run through some of the uh, tools like uh, poll everywhere, where we can do poll online uh, live uh, polling. Uh, this can be done online or in our own classroom. Uh, this example of the poll everywhere that I use in my own course. Uh, we have Zolo Challenge, for example, to create online quiz. We have uh, Eclipse Watch, which is a free tool we can download to, uh, to your computer and you can create this interesting puzzle. And you can do this as an online activity or offline activity as well. And you can do it in the classroom together with the students. And we can uh, use games uh, to, 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 uh, you know, to um, create engagement in a way that making us uh, learning fun. This is another example of quiz which I create using Articulate Studio. And uh, flip learning is also another way of uh, engaging students because with flip learning, we provide content online. Uh, then uh, we require the students to study the content before the classroom. So when we come to the classroom, we can use the classroom time now to do uh, a lot of activities. So we deliver the essence of the lecture in about uh, 10 minutes or less, and we make it available online so the students can access to their uh, tablet or their uh, phone. And uh, you know, this example, another example from Han Academy. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, students' engage engagement is paramount to, learning con to, to the learning of the content, learning one another and learning oneself. There is no magic to engaging students, but the effects of engaged students can be magical. So the last word from me is to close my presentation. Whatever is worth doing at all is worth doing well. Thank you very much.